One day, Peter was going to a new destination with his family. But for his father, the destination was also new. So he got lost on the way. What to do? Peter said, Papa, give me your smartphone. His father gave his smartphone to Peter. With help of two smart apps, Peter was able to find out the location very easily and they could reach the destination in time. Peter used the fast app. This app he used. Can anyone identify which app is this? Anyone? Please, can anyone? Very no, Google Map. This is Google Map. Peter also used this app to virtually see the place. Can anyone identify this one? Which app is very correct, ma'am. This is Google Earth. With help of these two apps, Peter was able to find out the location. And these two were introduced after 2004. Before 2004, how the people were globally locating the places? This question was asked to Peter's father by Peter. And Peter's father said it was the great philosopher, geographer and mathematician Eratosthenes from Greece, who could devise a way to find out the location easily. What he did, all of you have seen on the maps and on the globes. There are some horizontal lines and there are some vertical lines. With the help of these lines, they, it forms a grid system. And with the help of this grid system, all the people throughout the world, they are able to locate the places easily. So, what are these horizontal lines? What are these vertical lines? Today, we are going to discuss only about the horizontal lines. So today, we are going to learn about latitudes. Now, everybody can see this is a small model of the Earth. And here in the middle, one imaginary line is running. And this imaginary line divides the entire globe into two equal halves. The upper part is known as Northern Hemisphere, whereas the lower part is known as Southern Hemisphere. Now everybody see, suppose this is the center of the earth and one place suppose is located here. If I will join the place to the center of the earth on this equatorial plane, it creates an angle. What angle? 40 degree. So this angular distance of this place at the center of the earth is known as latitude. Suppose another place is there, another place is here. So if I join this place to the center of the earth, here you can say it creates 80 degree angle. So this angular distance of this place is known as latitude. But earth is geoid, geoid in shape or we can say roughly spherical in shape. You can see, suppose this is 20 degree and 20 degrees, so many places are there all around. If you join those places, it forms a line. And this line is known as lines of latitude. And as these lines run parallel to the equator, these are known as parallels of latitude. So there are, it starts from 1 degree to 90 degree, 90 degrees north pole, and again to 90 degrees south. So from 1 to 90 degree, 90 latitudes are there. And again in the south, 90 latitudes are there. So together it makes 180 and including lat this equator at 0 degree, it makes 181 parallels of latitudes. So what, why these are important? And before knowing the importance of these parallels of latitude, we must know what are the important features or characteristics of latitudes or parallels of latitude. These all are imaginary lines. You cannot find all these really on the earth surface. These are imaginary. These are drawn at one degree interval expressed in degrees. That means 0 to 90 written with letter N or S. If they are located in the northern hemisphere, N will be used. If they are used in, they are located in southern hemisphere, S will be used. And equator as it is located in the center, it is, it is the length is equal to the circumference of the earth. So that is why it is the longest among all. And as we go uh, till the uh, pole, the size of the parallel of latitude that decreases. All these are circles and each degree is divided into 60 minutes and each minute is divided into 60 seconds. Why? 
to give the precise location to give the exact location of a place think of india india is located latitudinally from 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes north so n will be used there and here minute is used so many places are there which are expressed with degrees minutes and with seconds so i hope all of you are able to understand the characteristics of all this parallel of latitude so now let us play a game this is uh, you will enjoy this game and the clues will be available in the right side now question the first question how many latitudes are there how many latitudes are there who can answer this one how many latitudes are there 181 181 angular distance of a place at the center of the earth is called who can give me quick 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 who can give this answer very correct this is latitude who invented the latitude system very correct he is from greece eratosthenes who invented the latitude and the last question the answer is also in front of you which is the longest latitude which equator. is the longest? very equator. correct this is the equator all of you have given very correct answer and i hope you also memorize what is what all are these which you could use further there, there are 181 parallel of latitudes but out of them five are important what are those five important parallel of latitude first one is equator that is located at zero degree second one is Tropic of Cancer, which is located at 23.5 degree north or 23 half degree north. Third one is Arctic Circle, located at 66.5 degree north. That means Tropic of Cancer and Arctic Circle both are located in the northern hemisphere. The fourth one is Tropic of Capricorn, that is located at 23 half degree south, which is in the southern hemisphere. And Antarctic Circle is located at 66.5 degree south. That is in the southern hemisphere. North Pole and South Pole are two points. Remember this? These are two points. So I hope at least you could now know what are the important parallels of latitudes. How they are going to be helpful that we will discuss. But before that, let me know either you understood or not. Here one link I'll share to you. What you need to do, you have to level their location. On this world, locate. Suppose equator, you have to place like this. You have to do the leveling. And after completing, you share it in the class group. So can I, I can check it, either you have given correctly or not. So now question comes, why these parallels of latitude, these five parallels of latitudes are important to us? Now watch this video and you will get insight into it. All of you watch it very carefully. The earth is shaped like a sphere. Due to this, different parts of the earth do not receive the same amount of heat from the sun. Based on the different amount of heat received in different parts, the earth can be divided into three different climatic zones. These climatic zones are the torrid zone, the temperate zone and so the frigid zone. So here all of zone. you have seen that there are three climatic zones and these are being demarcated by the important parallels of latitude. So in between Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn, the area which is located that is known as Torrid Zone, it receives the maximum sun rays and these are the warmer areas. Between 23 half degree north to 66 half degree north and 23 half degree south to 66 half degree south, temperate zone is located. And between Arctic Circle and the North Pole, this area is frigid zone in the north. And 66 half degree south, that is Antarctic Circle and between South Pole, frigid zone is located in the Southern Hemisphere. So we can easily find out where these places are located. That means throughout the world, which places are warmer, which places are colder. Next class, we will discuss about all these. And